is innovation? We know there's plenty of it apparently about, but how do you define and shape and actually drive it? Well, you could do worse than start by turning to the former presidential innovation advisor, Professor Curtis Carlson. The ex-CEO of SRI International in Silicon Valley for 16 years, he tripled their revenue as the company developed Siri and HDTV, among other breakthroughs. He's now an author and founder of the Practice of Innovation company. And as you might expect, he's in no doubt what innovation is. In my workshops, that's the first question, as you know, I ask people, I say, what's innovation? And people say, well, it's something new, it's something novel, it's a new process, it's a new thing. And that's part of it, but um, and until it is viable in the marketplace, which usually means it need, has to have a business model, mm -hmm. and business models can be volunteers or it can be the government or you can make a profit. But if it's not available in a sustainable way, then it's an invention and not an innovation. So an innovation combines a new product that's available, or a new service that's available in the marketplace with a viable business model of some type. And I've asked that question to oh, tens of thousands of managers, and so far one has remembered the business model. Now, that's not fatal, but what it means is- It's pretty is critical. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> they're not thinking right about what their job is. And the way that shows up is you often find um, projects that, where the, the team says, we'll figure the business model out later, mm -hmm. but they really don't have a good working hypothesis for it, and they fail. You've got to think about it right from the beginning. How are we going to make this sustainable in the marketplace? So what is the most common failing, maybe you've touched on it there, when you, you're dealing with businesses all the time? What is it that they keep making the same mistake over or a repetitive error? The, the biggest mistake is um, thinking that identifying a problem is an actual unmet need. Um, people see a problem, they jump to a solution, and it's almost always wrong. It's, it's amazing. You know, you can watch a hundred presentations and this mistake will be made every time. So how important then is the framing of the problem, the framing of the need, in actual fact, as you're saying? And is that something, again, that companies fail to properly do, or they leave too late to frame it's, it's what the it biggest, is? It's the biggest mistake. If you don't identify an actual need, you're not going to be successful. And so people make these mistakes. People want to build things, especially engineers. Mm. They see a problem, they jump to a solution, they want to build it and they don't go through the process of reflection and reframing and looking at it and saying, oh, what is really going on here? What can we actually do that would actually mitigate this problem that the person or the organization has? Value creation, innovation, is a discipline. It's mm -hmm. a subject that you have to learn and master. So I, we already mentioned two mistakes that made all the time. The first is you don't have a shared language. You don't know what, the, your job is innovation. Mm. But if we don't agree on the definition, how efficient are we going to be? What's the definition for customer value? Uh, what's the definition of a value proposition? If you don't know these things, you can, it doesn't mean you can't survive or succeed. It just means you're going to be awfully inefficient. So it's building those foundations in the outset. It's, they're foundational things. And for some reason, it's not widely taught. I don't know why exactly. I think it's because most of the people who teach these things are not real innovators. Is it true whether it's China, whether it's the Middle East, whether it's America, the, the problems, the challenges, the underpinnings of innovation are the same? They're universal. Uh, that's a really, <laughs> really an insightful point. It's absolutely true. I did a workshop uh, a while back uh, with new companies from Tsinghua University in China Israel, mm. Australia, Sweden, India, Silicon Valley, I'm forgetting one. So Sounds anyway, like quite so a spread. All, all these teams, and you bring them together and you, you discover that point. They're mm. all struggling with the same things. They've mistaken a problem for a need. They really don't understand their customer. They're trying to build things too soon. They're not mitigating the risk. Really basic fundamental things. Um, and they're all making those mistakes because 
basically those are human tendencies to yeah. do that. The fun part, of course, is the different cultures you get to experience when you bring these teams together, you know. The different mindsets, the different, different mind, Yeah, you know, a Swedish entrepreneur is not the same as a Chinese one yeah. or an Israeli one or one from Australia. So with Siri, for example, we didn't build the product until we could mitigate all the risks. We could have built something, obviously. Mm. We could have spent a lot of money, but we wouldn't know what to build until we had mitigated the risks. And so we spent our time and our money, not much money, by the way, because oftentimes mitigating the risks is, is a not low a, cost, it's tangible. It's a very limited cost, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, it, it, SRI people would come to me with their new ideas and they say, oh, Kurt, I need a million dollars to build it. And I go, mm. I'll give you a thousand dollars. You're a tough boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, but to mitigate the risk, and then they come back and they'd say yes or no. Mm. Okay, we might have to go through this several times before we finally figured out what to do. But we, we knew that if there was a significant risk sitting there, we had to really understand it. Because the last thing you want to do is spend a million dollars, get a a team of 10 people and then realize it's going to fail mm -hmm. and then you have to let all these people go or at least move them around which is never easy so you disappoint people you cause chaos you waste a lot of resources so yours is more about the building blocks building those things the best, that's the building blocks. so putting together a new venture is like putting together a picture puzzle mm. and all these and you've got to be able to at least have a general idea of the different pieces of the puzzle and how they're going to fit together and once you can see that, then you can build the puzzle. Is it just an intractable problem, or are we just approaching it incorrectly? When I evaluate an organization, I walk in, and I look. The first thing I do is I ask middle managers to describe their innovation system. If I get different answers from each one, because they're the ones who are responsible for implementing, mm. if they give me different answers, I know they don't really have one, one test. Second test, do they agree on what an important problem is for them? Now, a bank, the definition of important differs depending on what you're doing. But you should at least have a sense of what you should be spending your time on. Mm -hmm. So that's one test. Second is this language test. I walk around and say, do you know the definition for uh, innovation? Oh, no, you don't know. That's OK. <laughs> you got most of it, but it's not quite. And the third question is, do you have a systematic process to come together to share knowledge to solve those problems? If they say no to any one of those three, mm -hmm. they're not productive. Innovating the way we innovate is today the most important innovation in the world because it's the only way we're going to both solve our environmental problems and our poverty problems and our health problems. We need all those. Not solving problems identifying and addressing the unmet needs of others. That mindset, if that could be changed, it's gonna take all the things that I mentioned and more. If that, when that changes, that changes an organization in a fundamental way.